to make an aneroid barometer. We're going, this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. What, and th this is going to either go down or up to measure the high or low pressure. If it's, if it's high pressure, it's gonna go down, it's gonna, it's gonna go down to say, and this is gonna point up to say it's sudden. If it's, if it's low pressure, this is gonna go up, and this is gonna point down to say it's cold. First thing we're gonna do is use the scissors to cut the balloon about right here so that, so that we can use it to stretch it over the jar. I advise you what, that when you open it up, you check that you have enough space to put all four fingers in there before you before you move it. Up. I think I should cut the hole up uh, a bit larger here. So. so once that is over it, it should be secure now. But just for good measure. Let's put a rubber band over it, like this. Because you never know. Get the t and then after you're done with that, you want to get the barbecue stick, put it in the stand center. Don't put it all the way over. Don't put it on the edge. Put, try and put it around the center. And then you're gonna, and then you want to tape it on here. Tape it, tape it to where it, it probably won't fall off. And I suggest that you have, you have this taped to the wall, have it pointed to the center, and then t like draw, draw sunny, cold weather, and then just draw regular weather heat. When it's normal pressure, it'll just stay at the middle. When it's, when, when it's wintry, stormy, or just low pressure in general, it'll bulge up and it'll point down. When it's, when it's like s summer, sunny, and it just has very high pressure in general, it'll, it'll flatten out and go up. So, so that's the way it works.